1959, Leonard Cohen bought a deep navy Burberry raincoat on a trip to London. More than a decade later, in the 1970s, the same coat was stolen from a loft in New York City. In the years between these events, this jacket would inspire one of Cohen's most hauntingly melancholic and delicate songs. One of a few songs that would define his discography and contribute to the creation of his image, that of a broken bohemian poet betrayed by love. The song, Famous Blue Raincoat, appeared on the 1971 album Songs of Love and Hate. The enigmatic lyrics take the form of a letter from Cohen, detailing the love triangle between himself, a woman named Jane, his wife, and the male recipient of the letter, a friend. The song lacks details of the main characters and their circumstances. The details it does provide are ambiguous, but it's clear from the lyrics that Cohen is still living with Jane and her lover is estranged from them, but the relationship is not what it used to be. There's a confusion in the relationships between the characters involved in the triangle and the vagueness of their love for Jane. Cohen's helplessness is conveyed in letter as he tries to make peace with the fact that his wife is no longer his. The affair she's had has failed, but has only highlighted Cohen's feelings within his own relationship, leaving all three characters lost and afraid in the absence of love. The song opens with Cohen describing his new home to his friend. It's four in the morning, the end of December I'm writing you now just to see if you're better New York is cold but I like where I'm living There's music on Clinton Street all through the evening Cohen places his character in a lonely place far removed from the love between his wife and the man. He lived on Clinton Street in the early 1960s when it was a bustling Puerto Rican neighbourhood, and much like Cohen in reality, his character is battling the cold and isolation of an early 1970s New York, with only music and poetry for comfort, having lost the affection he previously received from his wife. It's important to note that he fails to mention his wife in this stanza, emphasising the love lost. I hear that you're building your little house deep in the desert You're living for nothing now I hope you're keeping some kind of record The friend who betrayed Leonard, having lost Jane, has also retreated within himself. He doesn't have anything to affirm his will for life and has resigned himself in a desert of isolation. The pain of losing Jane has ruined him. This shows clearly the love he felt for Jane. The description of him in his jacket emphasises this pain. Oh, the last time we saw you, you look so much older. Your famous blue raincoat was torn at the shoulder. You'd been to the station to meet every train. Now here's the interesting bit. Leonard Cohen loved his blue Burberry jacket, the one that the friend is wearing in the song. Cohen plays two characters in the song, the cuckold and the lover. In an interview with the BBC in 1994, he states, I always felt that there was an invisible male seducing the woman I was with. Now whether this one was incarnate or merely imaginary, I don't remember. I've always had the sense that either I've been that figure in relation to another couple, or there'd been a figure like that in relation to my marriage. I don't quite remember, but I do have this feeling that there was always a third party, sometimes me, sometimes another man, and sometimes another woman. These two roles are parts which Cohen felt he played throughout his life. The song's a reconciliation of these alter egos. Cohen's always been nervous of the man he's inhabited often, the womanizer the romanticist, the tortured, very charming artist. The song tells of a battle between these worlds and emphasises the result of this battle, that no one wins. The friend, having been rejected by Jane, who's returned to her husband, is now emotionally destroyed and has become more isolated as a result of opening himself up to Jane. He looks older and his clothes are unkempt. This is a result of falling for a woman in a relationship and he has to deal with all of the messy repercussions that come with that. Cohen has had his wife return to him, but he bears witness to the effect the friend has had on Jane and the happiness that he brought. Thank 
For the trouble you took from her eyes I thought it was there for good So I never tried The husband realises, although the relationship between Jane and her lover is broken down, the lover exposed Jane to the true realities of love and highlighted the failings in their marriage. Cohen thought that the happiness of his wife was internal to her, but ultimately it was a reflection of their relationship. With this doubt now embedded within their marriage on her return, it's clear that the narrator can never give to Jane what she wants from a partner, whether the partner is the friend in the raincoat or another man. Well, I see you there with a rose in your teeth. One more thin gypsy thief Well, I see Jane's away She sends her regard Here, the friend tries to win back Jane, but is ultimately unsuccessful. She trivialises the relationship by sending her regards not confronting the man, but letting Cohen answer for her. Or at least that's the impression that Cohen intends to portray. He describes the man as a thief, not totally opening himself up to true reconciliation. And it could be possible that he did not tell Jane of his friend's return. He answers for her, replying to the man with what he would want his wife to say. He does his best to sustain the chasm in the relationship between Jane and the friend, despite the fact that his relationship with Jane is irreparably ruined. The song ends with Cohen signing his name, leaving a personal branding on lyrics that are so deeply autobiographical. When listening to the song for the first time, this is the listener's realisation that Cohen was the writer of the letter. Cohen always puts so much of himself into his songs. By their nature, the songs are almost musical poems that dig deep into the emotion of the writer himself. He does reference himself in his songs and poetry often but Famous Blue Raincoat is perhaps the most conspicuous example. However, to put another twist in the tale, it could be interpreted as the narrator reading out the letter that was intended for him. Instead of Cohen being the writer of the letter and the reader of the lyrics, perhaps the man reading the letter, who the real Leonard Cohen inhabits throughout the song, is the isolated friend. This ambiguity helps to provide a true reflection of Leonard's attitude towards relationships bouncing between the jealous and neglectful partner and the adulterer, the spectre in the marriages of others. The song captures the struggle between these themes of love and loneliness and the rejection they produce, an elegy for the relationships ruined by lust and jealousy. In a way not many other songs do, it highlights the duality of love, how we all have two characters we fall into at different times, the love-struck poet and the petty husband. This is the struggle between confidence and insecurity, love and jealousy. It's in all of us, just as it's in Cone. I wonder where that blue raincoat is now. <laughs>